cat scare. <laughs> No kidding. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Monday, January 2nd, and now that 2017 has finally arrived, I've got a few plans to announce, mainly relating to Star Wars. I'm going to tell you about the events that I'm probably going to do this year, the new vlogs, and of course, most importantly, the countdown to episode 8. So, woohoo! The first Star Wars event coming up this year is most likely going to be the Rogue One DVD release. I'm still going back and forth as to whether or not I want to buy it. I probably have to see it again to decide if I really want it, you know, permanently. So if, this, if that one follows the pattern, it will probably be released on DVD in April, just like Force Awakens was released in April last year. Second of all, this year, the month of May is going to be all Star Wars, like 100% Star Wars throughout the month of May for several reasons. First of all, of course, it's May the 4th Be With You, which is unofficially known as International Star Wars Day, where all things Star Wars are celebrated. It also falls on May 25th, which this year is the 40th anniversary of the release of A New Hope. Holy mackerel, can you believe it? I know those of you who were there when it was first released in theaters probably feel really old now, but its I think it's really, really cool, and it's kind of really exciting. I don't know if Lucasfilm has anything special planned. Maybe they're going to release an Episode 8 trailer then? Maybe, hopefully, before then. That would be nice. But anyway... I'm probably going to do something special to commemorate that. And of course, leading up to the 40th anniversary is Star Wars Reads event over in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, it's so much fun. I try and make it there every year. That's one of five planned events in costume, trooping with the Rebel Legion that I have, that I'm hoping to do this year, one way or another. And for Celebration Orlando, no, I am like 99.9% .9 sure I cannot go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just plain too broke. All the four-day passes are already sold out. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it, and it's across the country anyway, so you guys are just going to have to look to someone else to do in a celebration vlog. Something else that's happening in the month of May. Ever since I heard that Carrie Fisher had passed away, I wanted to do something to honor her or a tribute or something, since my voice is not what it used to be, even though I want to try and get back into singing, and my piano skills are not up to scratch. And neither is my drawing. I can't think of anything to draw that hasn't already been drawn. What I'm going to be doing is, in case you didn't know, the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Throughout that entire month, I'm going to be wearing Leia buns. That's another reason I'm sort of going back and forth as to whether or not I, could, I should cut my hair. But one way or another, I'm going to be having buns at the side of my head throughout the month of May to help raise awareness for mental health, and I'm going to do it for in uh, Carrie Fisher's honor. And more about that as it gets closer. If you guys want to join me, great. I already had one friend say, hey, that sounds like a good idea. I'd like to do it too. But like I said, patience as it gets closer. I'll be mentioning more plans for it, so stay tuned for that. Another thing coming up this year is in addition to making my Ray costume and my Endor Leia costume fully approvable, I've got a brand new costume plan, and it is this, what I call my Summer Jedi. Rather than the usual browns and tans, this one's going to be blues and grays. I'm not going to quite be a blue Jedi, more like a cross between a gray Jedi and a Jedi healer. So, what I've got planned is a inner tunic with a mandarin collar instead of the wraparound, a sleeveless outer tunic in like a light gray blue, um, a scarf style tabard that goes up and around and down, and an obi, both of them of lightweight material, uh, a new belt, new boots, and a different hairstyle. So when I start construction on that, I'll be sure to document it for you. And last but not least, 
The top Star Wars event for 2017 is the opening of episode 8. Woohoo! That is the episode I'm most looking forward to. I can't wait. I mean, talk about a cliffhanger. They're on the edge of a cliff. Like, will you take this lightsaber? They don't even say anything. I'm going to be counting down starting at 300 days and then going every 100 days and then every... 25 days and then every week and then daily from like a week away and so I'm gonna be doing probably some of the same stuff that I did last the year before for episode 7 um, trying to you know I'm definitely gonna do trailer reactions whenever they're released and also uh, if anything has to be changed if the release has to be delayed because of Carrie Fisher's death I'll definitely talk about that but there you go. Those are the Star Wars events coming up for 2017. I can't wait to get started. And until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.